Grace and I am the current Miss Lincolnshire. Welcome to Miss England TV. Today I am joined with Phoebe and Zoe Croson. Thank you ladies for joining me. We will be discussing Phoebe's bravery as well as the wonderful charity Phoebe's Research Fund. So, can you tell us some more about your daughter Phoebe? Yep, um, Phoebe's nine years old uh, and she was born with a rare genetic disorder uh, called epidermolosis bullosa and she has an incredibly rare type. Um, the full title is recessive dystrophic. Uh, so a rare type of rare disorder. Wow. So how does this actually challenge your everyday lives? Um, it changes every aspect of our lives um, day to day. Um, you know, our normal wouldn't be the average child's normal. Um, basically knocks and bumps, free skin layers come away. Uh, it affects Phoebe not only externally but internally as well. So all of her internal lining, so esophagus, everything um, blister and sheer um, so yes it's incredibly challenging. Wow so when did you actually set up Phoebe's Research Fund? Um, it was set up in 2015 uh, Phoebe was born in 2009 yes. and I just uh, thought more needs to be done for research um, and it's, it's one of those things I think as a mother you feel very helpless so when you set something up like that, it's, it's incredibly important to raise a bit of awareness, um, something that's um, ultimately completely under the radar because a lot of people never have heard of it. Yes, definitely. So how can people get involved? The, the big thing is awareness. Yes. Um, and if people are thinking or considering doing a charitable event, um, certainly look up the Phoebe Research Fund, uh, Epidermolosis Bellosa. There's very few sufferers, so obviously the more people we get involved, the more awareness that's raised, uh, the more money that's raised, the more research gets carried out, and the more likelihood that this can be um, tackled, really, um, and effectively the, the all-important cure. Wow. So when did you actually find out that Phoebe suffered with this condition? Very early on. Um, Ella, it was Phoebe was three days old. Wow. Uh, they did the Hillbrook test, which they do in every hospital. Yes. Took the plaster off, and three layers came away. Um, her mouth started to blister and shear. Um, and you, you know, it's considerable when Great Ormond Street comes to the hospital to visit you, rather than you're going to Great Ormond Street. Um, and within three months, they gave us a proper diagnosis of what it was, because again, it was so rare even the world's experts were unsure at the time. Are there many sufferers that you know about in the UK? Not at all. Um, and this is the sad reality. Um, I mean, it's great that there's not many sufferers. However, for families like myself, um, and certainly for sufferers like Phoebe, it becomes increasingly difficult to um, get any real support. There's 60 million people in the UK, 5,000 sufferers of EB, the type of EB that Phoebe's got, um, there would probably be maybe 50 in the country and the type that she's got, she's probably a one-off. So it's incredibly unique. So how does this condition actually affect Phoebe? Um, it affects her obviously, she's in pain daily. Um, there will not be a day where there isn't an incident, uh, whether somebody catches her, she falls over or something happens, she needs continual surgery, she's just had a seventh throat stretch um, to widen the esophagus because the blistering causes narrowing um, which makes it very difficult to eat. Eating can be a problem because food can be too abrasive for her and you know the day-to-day -day social exclusion as well. Is there enough money coming into research into EV? Um, not at all, no. It's um, something I fight for daily uh, like I say, I go back to the feeling helplessness. Um, it's something awareness needs to be raised and from the back of that we will get funds. It's probably the worst condition people have never heard of. Um, it's incredibly cruel. Phoebe's kind of in the middle of the spectrum. There's children a lot, lot worse as well. Um, it, it affects them in so many ways. Um, I mean skin loss on the top layer is bad but three layers um, it's like continually being burnt or something it's, it's very very cruel. So how can people actually make a donation to the charity? Well we have a, a donation text number um, if people want to text capital letters HELP 
to 70201. Um, the current campaign we're doing is if every single person in the UK was to donate one pound, uh, this condition wouldn't exist. A whole host of other genetic disorders wouldn't exist. Um, it's not just about EB. The, the fact there's one li little bit of collagen missing in Phoebe's skin, um, you probably cure a whole host of other genetic disorders as well. Wow. See, this is actually astonishing to see that if everybody in the UK gave just one pound, we would have a cure for Phoebe. So Phoebe, may I ask you a question? Yes. So if you could have any dream in the world, what would it be? To be cured. To be cured. So you know that I wear a crown, right? Now you don't, but I feel throughout all of your hard work and bravery that you actually deserve to wear a crown every day. So I'd like to give you one of my own. So here it is. This is a little tiara for you. There we go. So I'd like to thank you ladies for letting me interview you and thank you all for listening. Thank you. Thank you.